Hi, great bikes. My name is Duncan from the Gamers Watch podcast. And don't AAA games just make you miserable, you great mates? Don't your practices just have you reaching for the nearest magnum? Don't you just find yourself sitting in a bath and reminiscing about better days? But that's why I have great mates. You just play Flynn, Son of Crimson, or Duncan Waters Indie Choices Indie Game of the Year. In a year where it felt like indie gaming put its flag in the ground and arguably became the way to play games, with phenomenal titles like Death's Door, Eastwood, The Artful Escape, Unpacking, Kenner, Bridge of Spirits and Lake to name but a few, all offering wildly different but exceptional experiences, Flynn Son of Crimson by Studio Thunderhawk stood out to me as an almost perfect example of what indie games can offer. Growing up with the Mega Drive, 16-bit games were my bread and butter. And being an older fart, Flynn threw up all these feelings of nostalgia and reminded me why I fell in love with video games in the first place. It's difficult to understate how well each of the mechanics work together to provide a love letter to gaming. The beautiful pixel art looks how you think games looked back in the day, and side-by-side scrolling gameplay is a nostalgic trip while standing side by side with modern titles. Flynn, Son of Crimson, is not only my indie game of the year, it's also one of the very best platformers ever made. You're great, mates.